Hello, Fenton here. Welcome back to the channel. This is a little sort of channel update and something for a bit of fun. Uh, I've rolled my Factorio version back to uh, 0 0.17. Long time Factorio people will know that 0 0.17 was a fairly big change, a lot of balance changes and things like that. Uh, and I thought I'd load some of my save files while we talk about a few things. From way back, way back when. There's going to be a lot of errors. Um, old saves. I've deleted all my mods. I've deleted all my blueprints. First reel and first reel two. These must be important in some way. 11 hours. Tips and tricks. Don't show tips and tricks again. Remove technologies, rocket damage, grenade damage, changed recipes. Can't remember. I don't think I had any mods on at this point. Anyway. So this is one of my first ever real bases. Does it tell me when it was played? No. I'd have to go into my app data to do that. Let me just quickly do that for you, actually. So yes, welcome to the channel. Um, 2.0 is just around the corner. Uh, I obviously don't have... <laughs> beta access, as we've established in that other contentious video, which I'm not going to talk about. Factorio saves, old saves. Uh, first reel, 2019, the 22nd of May, 2019. So over five years ago. It's crazy. What on earth was I doing? So the game comes out on the 21st of October, I think, whatever that Monday is, two weeks today. From next Monday, the embargo lift, so we'll be seeing a lot of content online, stuff like that. Uh, so from next Monday or Tuesday, depending on exactly where the time lies, I don't know, I don't know what time, UK time, GMT, will we still be GM, will we, will we be back on GMT by then, I don't know. Still technically British summertime. Um, so we'll see. My, my plan is to just stream the game. If I'm going to play the game, I'll stream it. So then we'll get the most, best of both worlds, or the worst of both worlds. You get my first... Um, you get my new player experience. Uh, if you want to watch live, you can. If you want to just watch the VODs and skip through and see what's going on, you can. I won't be behind in any way. Hopefully. You know, I won't have a massive backlog of videos. If one day I can stream for 90 minutes before bed, I will. If one day I've, if I've got the day off one day and I stream for six hours, then sure, go for it. We'll just do the whole thing. We'll just do the whole thing. We'll turn into pure streamer mode. Uh, and so that's the plan. Basically, with that, if you wanted to know, that's the plan. Next Monday is the Steam Next Fest, October uh, Next Fest, so I'll probably try and cover some puzzle games, some demos, some stuff like that. Look at the graphics for the for the uh, science containers, the flasks. Why am I not researching anything? Oh, look at the UI. Oh, look at the blueprints. Look at the production statistics. The bonuses is the same. There are no mini tutorials su su suitable for you at the moment. Thanks. Oh, the trains. I've got one train here. Oh, the biters are on. Wow. What was I thinking? So next week we can cover some Steam games. That'll be good because uh, that'll keep me distracted from other people who are launching Factorio content, because I really don't want to spoil myself on any of it as, as little as I can, you know, beyond what's in the Factorio Facts Friday, which I think they've done a pretty good job of making sure that what's in the Factorio Facts Friday is just, you know, like, interesting stuff, not not 
spoil not that there's much to spoil of course it's kind of a not really a spoilable kind of game but as far as I understand it there is lots of stuff that's not in the Factory Facts Friday from uh, the, the LAN event feedback so I kind of learned how to do belt side loading it seems I'm bussing iron gear wheels because I clearly don't understand how important iron gear wheels are Stockpiling. That's a weird noise. Listen to that. Can you hear that? Not sure you can hear that. Let me just very quickly turn the game sound up in OBS. It's crazy. Why did they make the chest sound different? Seem to be upgrading things to uh, red belts, kind of. Oh no, I'm bussing what go <laughs> a copper wire. Oh no. And some gears have made their way onto this. Bizarre. What did I say? Eleven hours. Eleven hours. Are there miners going on a bus? Where are these miners going? It's possible miners were an ingredient in uh, Blue Science at one point, even before this version, even before 1.17. I know in 1.17 they changed uh, when you need to start using oil refining and stuff like that. It's something to do. I think maybe they also used to be. There used to be no difference between basic and advanced. I can't actually remember. Let's go to the Factoria wiki, shall we? Look that up. Because I, I, I distinctly remember them saying that um, a lot of people bounced off the game almost as soon as they got to Blue Science, as soon as they got to Chemical Science. Because it was okay up until then. And then suddenly oil processing was very complicated. History, 0 0.15, recipe change to assembly, assembling machine 1 plus an advanced circuit plus an engine unit. Previously, it was a battery, a plastic bar, a filter inserter, and an advanced circuit. And then in 15.7, change science pack 3 to require an electric mining drill instead of an assembly machine 1. And then in 0 0.17, Change to three advanced circuits, two engine units, and one solid fuel. And then changed it to be sulfur instead of solid fuel, which is what it is now. So that's why the bus has advanced circuits, engine units, and electric mining drills, because I must. So this, yeah, so this save file was made in between 0 0.15 and 0 0.17. And then uh, oil processing was changed. Let's go to the oil processing page. History. Basic oil processing produces only petroleum gas in one in seven zero point one seven point six. And then yeah, so I, I think they just changed the order of when you needed to do it and oh my god what is this so yeah so you can see even though these factories are on the basic oil processing recipe at some point they were producing so they put basic oil processing in to just use crude oil and just output petroleum gas so not needing so this still doesn't need the water but the basic recipe must have still outputted these byproducts but just in lower ratios or something I guess and this is why they changed it because it was very complicated early on a lot of people bounced off of it like you can see here I have no idea what I need to do with the byproducts I just seem to be barreling light oil <laughs> or am I unbarreling it here I think it might be I think I was barreling it at one point and I'm unbarreling it lubricants researched Advanced oil processing is... can't mix fluids. 
Oh yeah, of course. Let's take the train somewhere, shall we? See where the train's going. It's back to front. What's it running off of? Solid fuel. Uh, yeah. Um, I also... I have a job again now. Uh, I left my previous job due to some unpleasantness. Oh, this is powered by a solar field on its own. That's quite smart. Uh, there was some unpleasantness. I don't like to talk about it. But it's fine. I am now re-employed. Mental health is getting there. Uh, so that will obviously play a big part in whether I'm streaming and stuff because I start fairly early in the mornings now because I have to open a small little coffee shop. Opens at s half six. So, yeah. Um, these are producing light. Are you seeing this? That's bizarre. Well, no, or is it the burner inserters? No, it can't be the burner inserters. That looks so strange. Makes no sense. And then the old electric mining drills. I got quite a soft spot for these, you know. I thought these were very good. I can see why they changed them. Alright, let's load up a much bigger save file where I feel like I know what I'm doing. A new start. Oh, that was map version 1.0. Uh, Fenton Bus. Fenton Bus 2. Ah, I remember Fenton Bus 2. I remember think feeling like I'd ruined it because I dragged an upgrade planner over the whole thing and thought, oh, and then couldn't work out how to undo the upgrade planner. So I gave up. Um, yeah. So clearly I've learnt what a main bus is. I got a little bit further this time. Smelting. Biters are off, clearly. Still bussing iron gear wheels. I haven't learnt. I haven't learnt my lesson. Have we got robots. Got. 41 logistics robots and 13 construction robots. Oh, yeah. I seem to have learnt about science ratios as well, because that's clearly 10 and that's clearly 12, which means this must be 20. This should be 20. Oh, no, it's, it's in a slightly faster assembler. Still not acceptable, but... And I'm making modules. Look at me go. Clearly I watch some YouTube content. Uh, I learned how to play Mahjong as well. I learned how to play Ricci Mahjong. Uh, I've always wanted to learn how to play it. Finally found the time to teach myself. So hit me up in the comments if you want to see some Mahjong content. Because I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. It's UI. So these are so small. What is this? Personal battery. Oh yeah, I remember when the batteries looked like this. And the battery icon looked like this. Good times. This is why in Crastorio the battery icon, the lithium sulfur battery icon looks like this with a few extra bits on it. Got any trains or anything going on? We do. We do have some trains. Plastic made on site. And a bit of a buffer there of crude oil. Why not? Where's the water coming from? Whoa, look at that offshore pump. That's crazy. Sort of learnt how to do 
side loading there. It's not how I would do it now, but I would do it like Oh god. Oh god. Yes, I know the fast oh. Overwrite the ghost with the new ghost. I would do it like that now and not use the inserter, uh, not use the splitter and save myself a whopping 10 electric circuits. But still. Making the plastic and bringing it in is not a terrible idea. Two headed train rather than looping train? Sure, why not? And a solar field. Is this vaguely at ratio? No, not even close. <laughs> oh, man. Right, what else we got? What else have we got? Uh, da -da -da -da. Level data not found. 38 hours. Let's find one with let's find let's try and find one that's got a lot of playtime in it, shall we? What am I doing with my life? Oh this one's got a rocket silo in it at least. 30 hours. Look at the purple circuits! Look at them! They're clearly purple. Okay, obviously they're not, but they're much more they're more purple than they are now, clearly. What on earth is this rail spaghetti? What is this? Clearly I don't understand how to do bypasses yet with the signals. I haven't learnt rail signals yet. And I'm trying to do sort of station bypasses where they wait. But there don't doesn't seem to be a signal chain sig single chain signal anywhere. No, twenty rail signals. Okay, so that's stopping waiting. Does this one work? It does actually work in a strange, bizarro kind of way. It does actually do must do what I want. Otherwise, I would have. Unless I got so bored of trying to work it out that I stopped. I mean, why this copper? Oh, it's because this copper train's going this way. Alright, go back. Does this one work? Does this bypass how I want? What is this nonsense? Kind of works. And what are you full of? Stone. Have we launched a rocket in this one? We have, one product finished. We launched a rocket and then I must have immediately started a new so far. You can just about sort of see the start of my style now. Still not quite 100% sure what I'm doing. Like clearly this is too many electronic circuit assemblers to output on a belt. So I still haven't quite worked that out yet. So this ratio is correct. Twenty. Well, it's not correct, but it's 28 on a red belt. But this is just wrong. But it works. This also makes absolutely no sense. Five. <laughs> Five assembler Mark II's making belts for nine science production machines. It must have just been a case of, oh, add more science. Just just add more science. Add a bunch of science to it. Why isn't blue science working? Blue science isn't working because there's no red circuits because... I think I must have turned red circuit production off of blue side. If I was rushing the rocket, I was probably wanting all of my red circuits to go to, yeah, speed modules and processing units. 
Did I even make a satellite with this, or did I just... Oh, you can't search! You can't search the thing! I made one rocket silo, one car. It doesn't look like I ever made a satellite. Oh, I'm still researching space science pack. I think... I think... If I remember correctly, and given this iron chest full of low-density structures, which look bizarre in that, that looks... that's tripophobic, almost. Where are those being made? I mean, they're clearly being shipped in by hand, but... Yeah, that's a bizarre sprite. What is this? I have no idea what that is. That's what a flying robot frame used to look like. Wow. I honestly do not remember that in the slightest. Uh, this may be the first time I ever launched a rocket this so far. I have vague recollections of just rushing the rocket. I've got bloody speed modules in there. Man! I'm bringing in copper rather than bringing in copper ore, but I'm bringing in iron ore. Strange. This is before you had uh, you had to go into debug mode to turn on things like show recipe icons on map. So this used to be a debug option mode which people were using for real gameplay so they put it in the thing and then the same with um, the other icon that's missing here especially is the robot show logistics robots on map and show player robots on map. So, if I work out which button I need to press, um... Do I even have a robot network? I do. 50 logistics robots, 550 construction robots. Holding the requester chest does not show me a roboport network unless I yeah. Ugh. Clearly I'm not. What must be in a chest? Wood? Yeah, there they go. So this was a debug option that people were using. Seem to be researching military science with a bite is off. Smart lad. Smart lad. Cool. What else have we got? Thirty-eight hours. Let's go again. Pure vanilla. That must be that's too old. Or I I got rid of a whole bunch before. Well, let's look at this one. Breaking Force 7 is finished, that's good. Ah, clearly, clearly I have learnt what city blocks are. <laughs> but kind of put my own spin on it. I learnt what they were, but didn't want to just outright copy it. So they're not proper city blocks, are they? Because the RoboPort is in the corner. And they're only three pile on square. But I must have seen it and gone, oh, that's neat. Yeah, this solar panel farm looks surprisingly familiar, doesn't it? But this is uh this might be the first actually good save file that I had that I was that I was happy with. And all I had to do was copy other people. No, that's fine, right? That's just... Uh, don't need to reinvent the wheel. Concrete. There. So 
clearly I decide that rather than trying to do all this nonsense I'll just do looping trains but then that means that this bit in the middle here is still two ways but it doesn't seem to be causing that much of a problem my bus here obviously gets too cramped so then the solar panel farm has to go down and then towards the end I'm just like alright okay I'm bored of this now ah my first hand design mall I remember this I remember this blueprint not quite worked out the power of the exoskeleton yet I wonder if you were to like line up if you have to have a massive pie chart of all your Factorio play through time how much of it would be just walking from point A to point B it's the kind of thing that adds up it's the kind of thing that like you don't I I know some players do this they build a car as soon as possible and they always use the car and then they build an exoskeleton as soon as possible and then you know and I obviously see the value in that because when you play a game for a thousand hours it must be at least 50 hours of that is just literally watching your character do this with nothing else to do so yeah this is my first hand design mall on its sort of own little mini bus oh look clearly I've learned how to do this as well learned how to do enabled conditions on inserter arms. Look at the sprite for the pylon or the big electric pole. And the substations. Do they look like that when you put them down? No. Interesting. Mining machines, solar panels for some reason. Robo ports, beacons, signals. I I used this for a long time. This small design, it actually did me quite proud for for a fair amount of time. Yeah, it's quite good. Not researching anything. Power armor. Uh. Military science, even with the biters off, good stuff. Got the right ratio though this time. Twenty Yeah, ten, twelve, twenty-four, fourteen, fourteen. Twelve Is that right? I thought it was five, six It's five, six, seven, twelve, seven, seven, is it not? Or eight, eight. Yeah, who cares? Um But I don't appear to be launching rockets on the regular. Why did I not launch a rocket in this? Oh no, no, here they are, here they are. <laughs> Products finished, one. And then just immediately... I wonder if with the size of the Space Age expansion, whether I will still feel the urge to start a new save file immediately after finishing the first one, or whether I will carry on with it. I guess I'll see how I feel at the time, there's no rush. These are clearly purple as well, look. Look at this. If that's not the colour purple, then I I don't know. Do you not think that's the colour purple? That's quite fast. I suppose all the science is backed up. And I'm feeding this from the requester chests as well. Okay, uh, so I'll probably move all my old save files to a backup somewhere just to get them out of this. A lot of them don't work anyway. We looked at that one already. Yeah. Um, 
So I'm probably not going to boot up Factory again now before the game comes out. I, I mean, I, I, I keep umming and ahhing about maybe doing some blueprint books just for stuff that... But it's so inconsequential, right? I thought, oh, I'll do a blueprint book that's got, you know, corners in it or something. And then do a 4 to 4 balancer. Oh, here you go. You're really testing me now. Uh, uh, no, that's not right. Is that right? Is that correct, my dudes? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. But why? Again, you know, like I could put, yeah, put this in a blueprint book. You just saw me build it from memory in ten seconds. Same with the corners, you know? You don't even need to really do it. Just do it once and then... Come on, I don't... What, what, what am I doing? Why do I have solar panels charging batteries just for one belt immunity equipment? I was so good at the game. So good at the game. Biters off, cliffs on. Crazy. Uh, yeah, so... Um, a, bit, a bit of a ramble, I realise. Um vague channel update, just letting you know I'm still here, I'm alright, I guess The plan, that's the plan for 2.0, just gonna stream it as soon as I can, basically uh, Mondays generally tend to be a day off for me, but we'll see nothing set in stone, I'll just play it when I've got time to play it, I'll stream it when I, da when I can and uh, yeah Steam Next Fest next week and any uh, Richie Mahjong players in the chat hit me up. I'm garbage, obviously. I'm pure trash tier, but I'm still learning, and I'm enjoying learning, so. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please let me know with a like and a comment, and if you want to see more Factorio and puzzle games, be sure to subscribe. Other than that, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>